laddies, my name is Jack Sift Guy and welcome back to Would You Rather and I'm giggling like a little bitch because I was doing something silly before I started recording and but you're never gonna see that. <laughs> but I'm still not back fully at the races. I'm still not fully back on the track after being back from tour, so I wanted to come back to something reliable, something that we all know and love, something that asks the seriously hard questions. Like, for instance, would you rather be a rock star or be a movie star? Ooh, difficult question, difficult question. We've all thought about it once in a while. Okay, let's logic it out, okay? Be a rock star, you know, sex, drugs, rock and roll, the lifestyle. Or be a movie star, you know, rubbing shoulders with Hollywood's finest, being up there doing this dance, apparently. <sighs> okay, who has the harder life? <laughs> this is what it's all gonna come down to. Well, Okay, a while ago, I wanted to be a rock star. I used to play drums, I wanted to be in a band, I wanted to go on tour, I wanted to do all that stuff. But... I feel like that this is a far more... Actually, no. Movie stars these days do a lot of traveling as well. I was gonna say rock stars go on tour a lot. And for some instances, they go on tour for months on end. Now that shit is hard. I, I, I went on tour, I did the bus life, I did the thing. I did it for like 12, 13 days, and that, to me, was a long time. There's a lot of shit involved in that, and you don't feel like a real person anymore when you go through that stuff. So to do that for months would be very fucking hard. Be a movie star, I always wanted to try my hand at acting. I always- I love movies, I love watching movies, I love human behavior, I love seeing how people act the way they do, just in real life, and then just looking at actors and figuring out their process, and I just love the whole movie scene more than being a rock star. Being a rock star would be pretty fucking dope, though. Would you rather have both holes, have holes put through both hands and both feet via nails and a hammer, okay, we call that one the Jesus, or go for 40 days in the desert without food? Oh, we also call this one the Jesus. Didn't he do both? Um. Okay, I probably have to go to go with this one. <laughs> I know, shocker, to have fucking holes put in my hands and feet. But I feel like this one might be more survivable than this one. Go forty days in the desert without food. Pretty sure I'm gonna die at the end of that. I'm nothing but skin and bones. Going twenty days would kill me. Forty days, I'd be fucked. And is this without water as well? Well, I'm in, the, I'm in the desert. I'd probably die out there. Oh, come on, people! It's just a little holes in your hands. They didn't say how size, uh, how big the holes would be. Via nails and a hammer? Ow, actually. That would really fucking suck. Oh, why did I pick that one? Oh, this one. This one would hurt, but I feel like that's like a day. That's a, that's a bad day. This is 40 bad days. Would you rather only drink black coffee or only eat dry cereal? Come, come on! I, I only drink black coffee anyway! Why is there only 40% of people picking this? Black coffee is delicious! It is the nectar! The soul! Blood goodness of the gods! Flowing through my veins! Giving- well it doesn't give me any energy because caffeine doesn't fucking do anything to me. I'm already full of energy, last thing I need is more. But, God, it tastes so good! Black coffee! Yes! Yes! Would you rather be a carrot or be a cucumber? I'd rather be a Pickle Morty! A Pickle Rick! Y you get it? <laughs> Man, why do people have to ruin Rick and Morty? Why is it so cringy to make Rick and Morty references nowadays? Damn it, man! Um, have any of you seen that video of the dude who goes in asking for the Szechuan sauce and then says he's Pickle Rick and pulls his shirt over his head and then says wubba lubba dub dub and then runs out of the McDonald's like Naruto? That happened. That's cringy. I would rather be a carrot. Cause I go great with hummus then. And I'd be a nice nutritious meal for people and then people would think that they see in the dark if they eat me. Would you rather cheese grate your upper arm? Ow! We're sliding down a fireman pole covered in tacks in a pool of rubbing alcohol. These are both bad. Um. Okay. Sliding down a fireman pole covered in tacks. Th those tacks might not be sticking outwards. You know? And then in a pool full of rubbing alcohol. That's not that bad. It's tacks. It's not like you're sliding down a pole of razor blades. That would fucking suck. 
they're they're tacks. They stick in and it's like ah, bing, ow. You know, that's not so bad. Cheese grate your upper arm. I mean, how hard are we grating? I could just go. You know, like that. I, I put it close to the mic in case you could hear it. Can you hear it? That's me cheese grating my upper arm. It might not be that bad. I'll go with this one. <laughs> Would you rather die slowly but not much pain? Die fast with a lot of pain. I mean, I'm fucking dead either way. Who cares? It's much of a muchness. We fucking die in the end. We're all dust. Nothing matters. One with the cosmos. It's all over. Forget it. We're all dead. But to answer properly, I don't know. <laughs> I hmm. die slowly, but not much pain. I mean, this seems like the one. Not only do you, do you not feel much pain, win, um, when it comes to dying, but you'd also be alive longer. So if you're dying slowly and in not much pain, you'd be able to tell your loved ones that you love them. Whereas this one, you're dead, a lot of pain, and I mean, who knows what happens afterwards? But that's a lot of pain, and then you're dead. The, the whole point of dying fast is that you don't feel a lot of pain. That's why people say, make it quick. And then he shoots you in the face. This one. Because I want to be able to tell the squirrels outside that daddy's going away forever. Ah! Would you rather be Australian or be American? Oh, some people are not going to like me based on my decisions. <laughs> okay, hear me out, Australia. You're cool and all. But you got some fucked up shit over in that country. First off, most of your country, continent even, is not even livable. There's nothing there. It's just dust and red. Okay, not convinced. Fair enough. Spiders, the size of buses, coming to devour my soul and my children. Okay, still not convinced. How about... Uh, how expensive everything is over there. I see how much your video games cost. I see it and even then a lot of your video games get censored. I don't want that. Not in my, not in my face. No, sir. Um, if I was American, I mean, I, I go to America a lot already and Australia is really far away. I mean, I'd be American. I wouldn't live in America. Actually, I'd be Australian. It doesn't say I'd live in Australia. Ooh. Now we're getting into semantics. So if you're asking which one I'd rather be if I just lived here in Brighton, haha, let's neutral party this shit. Right, okay. Uh, Australian. If I had to live in either, it would be America. But you didn't say that, you just said I had to be one of them, and I want to be Australian, because then I have a fucking sweet accent, mate. You know what I'm talking about, you know, there's fucking heaps of spaces there, it's chucker in a ute, mate. It's fucking chucker in a ute. You know? Yeah, that's what I want, and then nobody would be able to understand what I'm saying, and that would be amazing. <laughs> would you rather lie every time you were asked a question, or tell the truth every time you were asked a question? What? Either, um... So I have to lie every time I'm asked a question. Is that what you're saying to me? Or tell the truth? Uh, truth... <sighs> Why not? Probably get me in a lot of trouble. Like, did you kill a man last night? And I'd be like... I'll never tell. <laughs> I didn't. The only thing I killed last night was the dance floor with these... Rhythms. Okay, would you rather be unable to survive without eating something every hour? Be unable to survive without e what the fuck even is that sentence? Be unable to taste anything for the rest of your life. So I'd be unable to survive without eating something every hour. Okay, got it. I fucking I had to do some mental gymnastics. So I'd have to eat something every hour or I would die basically. Yeah. Okay, that sentence, that's a weird way of saying that. Or be unable to taste anything for the rest of your life. I mean, I eat something every hour anyway, although I'd die if I didn't eat it. Yeah, this one. I just love food. I love the way it tastes, I love the way it feels, it goes into my mouth. Party, explosion of awesome in there, swish it around, swallow, that's a good time. That could be taken out of context for something else that happens, but that's, you have to pay much more for that. Would you rather have a British accent or have an Australian accent? Here we go! This is it! This is the thing that- the Australian versus American thing again. Except British and Australian accents. 
as much as you don't want to admit this, they sound pretty similar, okay? To, to you, they don't, because you're from there, but to everybody else, they do. Okay? Not my fault, you share a lot of the same slang as well, you know, like that one, shut up, cunt. You, that one, yes, okay, and also, well, British people don't say fucking chucker to you, mate. Um, <laughs> oh, which one would I rather? I don't know, both would be super fun to have. What, it, it depends on what Australian or what British accent we have, though. Because some of them are crap. Like, there's some British accents I do not want. I do not want to sound like I'm from Manchester. I don't want to sound like I'm from Liverpool. I don't want to sound like I'm from fucking... I don't know where. Okay, uh... <laughs> everyone, everyone from there now is like, BOO! Oh, but I would love to have, to have a, a very posh British accent. And then everyone would listen to what I have to say. I would talk like this as well all the time. And then everyone would think I'm like I just sound super sophisticated. If I have an Australian accent, everyone thinks I just want to go out drinking. Which is super fucking fun. Ah, British accent, why not? We'll balance it out. I pick an Australian for the other one. I might as well pick British for this one. Would you rather wear high heels or wear a dress? Why not both? I would love that. I love how this one is called cross dresser. You do realize some people just wear these things anyway, and it's just dressing up. It's not cross-dressing, okay? <laughs> um, wear high heels or wear a dress? I would wear a dress. Okay, first off, not only would I look fucking baller, I would pull off that dress so damn well, you would be jealous. But I would also be like, I'd, my legs would be free, and I would be flowy, and it'd be a nice breeze going up there, and I'd feel comfortable. Whereas wearing high heels? No. I don't know anybody who wears high heels who goes, Yes, these are super comfortable. I prefer to wear these. I don't know how you do it. Any of you out there who wear high heels? God bless you. You have, you have the stamina and the pain threshold that I do not have. Would you rather work 10 hours a day, 4 days a week, or work 8 hours a day, 5 days a week? 10 hours a day, 4 days, yeah. I mean, I work like fucking 12 hour days anyway, the way it is, the way I am now, but this one gives you an extra day. Actually, it gives you way, yeah, you get three extra days here and you only get two extra days here. This is just life. Work eight hours a day, five days a week, that's just life. I would much prefer to put my time in a shorter amount of time and then have three days off. That'd be fucking cool. So, doing YouTube, I work like 9 to 12 hour days and get no days off. <laughs> but it's fun. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have it any other way. Would you rather have $150 in quarters or have $100 in paper money? This one. This is just a fucking pain in the ass. I don't want to, well, I guess I could just take it to the bank. That's fucking heavy, though. I mean, $50. <laughs> I mean, if you said $10,000 versus $5,000, so maybe then it's $50. It's not enough to make me want to carry on a big old ball of fucking bag of change. I hate change. I hate cash. Who uses cash these days? It's all cards. Would you rather get a free appetizer with every meal or get a free dessert with every meal? Fuck off. That's... What kind of questions are you asking me? It's like, would you rather shake hands or would you rather get your dick sucked? I know which one I prefer. <laughs> You, if you to play a board game every single day, would you rather only play Risk or only play Mar Fuck off, that's stupid. I don't want that one. I want a good one! Would you rather have 300 horses or have a car with 300 horsepower? Hmm. I'd rather have 300 horses, thanks. That'd be cool! <laughs> 300 horses, I could go out and I could name them all. And I could take them all out for a run. I could be on the back of one of them and then I just have this whole army of horses behind me. I could get all my friends to have their own horse. I mean, you could also sell the horses and then get a really nice car for that. That's just, it's just my reckoning. Sorry, I keep shaking the whole desk as well. Whole camera shakes. Right, last one. Would you rather be illiterate or take everything literally? Ah. Okay. Being illiterate, can't read. Taking everything literally, anything anybody says to me, I have to do it literally. So if someone says... Oh, why don't you just go die in a fire? And I'd be like, okay. <laughs> uh, be illiterate. 
I mean, I don't want to take everything literally. And being illiterate doesn't mean I'm forever illiterate. Gotta use that noggin. Gotta use that old noodle. You gotta use that squishy jellyfish inside your skull. See? Not literate? Smart boy. Anyway, that does it for this episode of Would You Rather. I hope you all had a great time. I hope you all are, love each other out there, and I hope that you're all doing good. I want to think of a question to leave you guys with. Would you rather... Hmm. I need to think of a good one. I need to think of a good one. Okay. I'm going to have to divide the audience. This is the big one. This is the big question. Would you rather have ten puppies or ten kittens? I'm serious. Ten puppies or ten kittens? Let me know. I want to know... I want to know where the allegiances lie. I want to know, cats versus dogs, which one's it going to be? You decide. But thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, punch that like button in the face! Like a buzz! And... I find that out. Thank you guys, and we'll see all you dudes! I think I might need a haircut. What do you, what do you think? <laughs>